Katie Scott with Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking. I have a tight pad blog and I think you're getting me. Um, I wanted to do the, the um, this is what I'm doing uh, project. I am working on my project life and hopefully you can see this. I don't think my camera has a zoom feature. So we're just gonna do our best with this. Um, I, uh, for anybody that's wondering what Project Life is, it's a uh, scrapbooking project that was thought up by Becky Higgins and she was with Creating Keepsakes Magazine. And uh, it's basically to take a picture a day and put it in the magazine and put it into your scrapbook. I don't do that. <laughs> and I think a lot of people who do um, Project Life don't do it contemporaneously just because um, although I do have a home printer I actually have a Hewlett Packard printer which prints fine um, I prefer to send out my photos um, to be developed either by Shutterfly or Walgreens depending on which one has the best coupon that week um, so I usually will get a stack of photos back so I just got these back and part some of these are from a Disney trip and so I'm going to show you how I do my like end of the week or end of the couple of weeks um, for Project 365 or Project Life. And it's okay with me if it's not completely, um, if the pictures don't line up exactly. So this was this page here. I know it's hard to see. Um, sorry. I put on my apron. <laughs> so you won't have to see anything you don't want to see. <laughs> There we go. Um, that works better. I um, So I have a December page where I put in just a regular scrapbook page and a regular divider and also for the title page. And then I have these divided up pages, which I got with this scrapbook from Walgreens. And actually, I don't think this book is gonna be big enough because we're only like halfway through February and I already have this much. So there's no way that this is going to accommodate the entire year. So I actually got a three ring binder from Michael, or not Michael's, but Joanne's last night. And I'm gonna go get it and show it to you. I'll be right back. So hold on. <clears throat> Okay, so this is going to be my new binder for Project Life. It's made by Pioneer. It's a three ring binder, but it's the three ring is huge. It's two and a half inches. So it's way, I don't think you can see that, but this comes up two and a half inches. This one probably an inch. So it's going to accommodate a whole lot more. It, um, this is the label inside of it. And I was told by the, oh, you can't see that, but I was told by the checkout girl at Joann's that they are carrying these. The other thing I noticed at Joann's is that they've got die cuts with a view is making a three ring binder. It wasn't this extra large style binder. What's cool about this one too is I've got a place for the title outside. So that is cool. You can see. That's the brand. And this is normally $19.99, I think, but I got it um, and it's also got the side. So I thought that was really awesome. I used my, I think it was on sale for 40% off, but if it's not on sale, I'll just wait for the sale or wait for a coupon. And, um, and it was about $11. So I thought that was a pretty good bargain. She didn't see like, this is just, bigger so I, and I think I was gonna need a bigger one so I'm just gonna transfer this this is why I love the three ring binders because you can always move things around and I like I like that flexibility so I'm gonna move this you just see so, and I'll tell you about the pages as I'm moving them so this was kind of like December wrap-up because I started this project life project on January 1st, except I felt like 
December is so eventful, you know, we just got the holidays over. So I just kind of like picked up scraps of things that we were, this is kind of like cultural memorabilia. And then like a mass of photos. So I included some index sheets on there and uh, not much in the way of explanation. It, this is almost like just a regular old photo album, except that there is interspersed some journaling and scrapbook pages. This was, I put this in the front of the January. This was just our uh, calendar from January. And they can't see that very well. Um, if you want to see a really good example of this, of like just jotting down what's going on in your life, um, Angie Lucas does that, and she has a post up on her blog. Her blog is called Yeah Right, and um, her name is Angie Lucas, and she does she does the um, writing on her calendar every day. And then that forms that is like kind of a backup system for journaling. So I just put the actual calendar page in my book. I haven't been doing a very good job of keeping up with February though. But maybe I'll get started again with March, or maybe I'll start with February and then have the last two in there, and then the first two I can stick in pictures. So it's okay with me if I'm not keeping up with everything consistently. And so some of these pages, I just put the photos in, and what I need to do is probably put a little explanation in there somewhere, like we totally reorganized my son's room and cleaned it from top to bottom. And then this is what I did for the, um, ta-da, I did collage prints, and what I did is make collages in um, Picasso, and you could do that for free, and then I actually put the, can you see, I know this is very lame uh, video quality, but I put the date on each one, like here's New Year's Eve. And you can do that within Picasso, which is a free program you can download. Um, so that was the way I did the first week. And I did that at the end of the week. So I haven't done any of this as you go, as day by day. Although I think I would like to try that. But I'm kind of an inconsistent scrapbooker in that sometimes I'll do a whole lot. And then other times I want to have a break. So I won't scrapbook for a long time. So I think that this, um, not a, lo a long time for me, not scrapbooking is maybe a week or two. And then I start getting antsy. I start feeling like I got to start scrapbooking again. I like to be, I like to scrapbook every day, but it doesn't always happen every day. I have a busy life and, um, and also sometimes I feel like it and sometimes I don't. Like sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. This is another kind of page protector. It's like nine by nine really cool so I just took pictures from our ski trip and put them in there um, and again not a ton of journaling what I might do as well is for the journaling sometimes I, w I, I would like to like print out my Facebook um, updates and maybe put those in as journaling and or print out my blog and put those in as journaling so I don't have to feel like this is another task for me to do because um, I just want to do this if I want to do this. So this should be fun. It shouldn't be work. <clears throat> so here's more of my, and so this is a good way if you're like me and take a million pictures of an event and you maybe want to make a couple of scrapbooking pages, but you don't want to make like 50 scrapbooking pages about the ski trip. This is a way to still get in the pictures so you can see like, oh look, he made snow angels. And it's kind of obvious, like I don't have to make a scrapbooking page explaining that. Like, there it is. Um, I guess I could put first time or something like that. And then this is my son's karate test. And some pictures from when I got home and reconnecting with the family. It's funny, you go away for a couple days and it seems like you've got to totally reconnect once you get back. And then, just for interest sake, I'm, I'm interspersing my book with full scrapbook pages. So here's a page that I made about Allison and I dressing up like princesses, and we put up the princess tent, put a giant flower in the middle of that page, that was fun, we used lots of rub-ons. 
Um, <clears throat> and so then I did do some journaling there because I felt like it, because that was fun. And then just put a bunch of um, photos of this. And what's so funny about this is the dress that I'm wearing was the dress I wore in my very first um, beauty pageant when I was a teenager. I used to do the scholarship pageants. And that's where I got the scholarship to Eckerd College, which made me move to St. Petersburg, Florida, where I've lived for the last, well, since I was 18 and I'm 40 now, so 22 years, I guess. If my mouth is right, <laughs> I think it is. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, but that maybe would be a cool page like, hey, look, I'm, I can almost zip up. I can't zip it up <laughs> completely, but I can almost zip up that, pro that pageant dress that I wore in this beauty pageant, you know, when I was 16. I, went, I wore that when I was 16. And uh, here I am. Saved it, because I'm a little bit of a pack rat. I'm a lot of a pack rat, but I married a non-pack rat. So my pack rat tendencies are kept in balance which is a really good thing. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. But hey, but it's funny to like have that on and, and like that was sort of my dream was to, you know, when I saved that prom dr that dress all those years was like someday I'll be able to play dress up. And I kind of thought like, and my daughter would dress up in it. I didn't imagine that I would be dressing up in it, but she saw it in my closet and wanted me to wear it. So that was fun. So I'm just transferring the pages and then I'll show you how I slip them in. Oh, and I'm going to take a little break and go turn on the air conditioner because it's a little bit hot in this house. Although that's going to make a little bit of noise for you. I have been listening to the Foolish Adventure podcast with um, Izzy Hyman. He's the husband of Noelle Hyman of paper clipping for you scrapbookers. And um, it was funny because they were talking about if you have poor audio and video quality like I do in these videos, um, your content has to be really good. So I'm not sure my content is really good either, but here I am. I can hear my family getting back from the grocery store, so they're going to need some help. But I plan to make some more you Scream videos soon. So I hope that you will tune in or let me know if you like them or what you would like to see. Um, I tend to do these unrehearsed and unplanned. I just want to get a little moment. And also I go in spurts. So I'll do a whole bunch of them and then I won't. And then as the mood strikes me. But this is one of the projects I'm working on. Couple, and I'll show you more of that soon. This is another project I'm working on. It's a six by six album of uh, a trip to Disney we did a couple of years ago. And then we just went to Disney again with my same best friend from high school. And so I'm gonna do another one of these books for like, that's the 2009 trip, and then I'll do another one, 2011 trip. And I'll show you how I'm gonna put that together. And I do a lot of like, little pop outs and, and different things. And I'm not completely finished with this one either, so I'll show you how I finish that. And you wanna know something funny, speaking of Izzy Hyman, this dude here looks a lot like him. And he was, um, it's not him, but he was like the driver on the um, Jungle Cruise, which is one of our favorite, it's not called Jungle Cruise, I don't even know what it's called, but it's one of our favorite rides at Disney, and it, that ride is actually a big reason why I'm here in Florida too. The pageant plus the ride <laughs> kind of like landed me here in Florida, but he let Allison drive the boat, it was so cool. So we went on that ride again. So that might deserve a scrapbook page. So here is Miss Allison now. Did you go to Wendy's? Oh, and she brought her shopping cart with her to the, the grocery store. You gotta see this. Show the shopping cart. The camera's up here today. See that? That's my shopping cart. That's her shopping cart. And, and I bought real groceries in it. That's so cool. I, I went to Wendy's and got a smoothie. Awesome. We're filming, Charlie, just FYI. If I'm with my husband with the groceries, he usually does the groceries. Um, but one of the He's other things. He's my baby. 
There's your baby buttons. They can't see. This is baby buttons. And actually, I've started a scrapbook all about the adventures of baby buttons. So we'll be showing you that put her right there. sometime soon. She can sit right there. She's such a good baby. Yep, yes. and she has a twin. She's got a twin who's also named Baby Buttons. Number There's two. Daddy. Hello, Daddy. That's a weird angle. It is a weird angle. I don't like it at all. Oh. <laughs> Daddy does not like this angle. I think we need just a zoom for this angle. What did you do? When he has the time and inclination, he's my video man, but... Lately, not so much. I've been on my own in the video department. Um, what was I going to tell them? I don't remember. The Adventures of Baby Buns. Oh, The Adventures of Baby Buns. And one more thing I, le I learned from The Foolish Adventure. And this is the um, podcast. So that's, you get it on iTunes. It's called The Foolish Adventure. Or, there's no the. It's just Foolish Adventure. And I've been listening to the podcast. And so if you've ever thought about um starting an online business it's a really good thing to listen to so i'm up to number 29 i think they've been doing it for a year or two they have looks like 38 so i'm almost current um daddy bringing in more groceries bye bye oh one of the things they hold on allison i want to i want to tell them one of the things can you sit and then look up one of the things that Izzy Hyman was saying on his Foolish Adventure podcast, which is not really on topic, but they do this thing with their kids. I'll be right back. Wait, I want to tell them about the Ikea thing. So there's this kitchen set at Ikea that my daughter really wants. And what the Hymans do in their family you get it? is you have to, like, declare your intention. And then the kid has to, like, write down why they want it. And then you have to wait two weeks and earn it, and then you can two get it. Two weeks? <laughs> she's not happy with the two-week wait, and also, she's going to start crying again. Um, <laughs> and you also have to write out the reasons why you want it. And so um, we, during our family meeting this morning, um, I told her about that, and so she, um, she's not bonded with that idea yet. But I will keep you posted on that because I think it's brilliant. Um, it's probably a good idea for adults too. You know, you figure out what you want, you write down why you want it, wait two weeks, and then buy it. Like instead of impulsively going to the scrapbooking or the craft store and buying stuff. Like I impulsively bought this last night, although I don't regret it at all. The other things that I impulsively bought last night, which I also don't regret, I probably should, but I don't, is um, Colorbach Flea Market embellishments so I can't wait to use those and then this is the other thing I bought was the their fabric strips and I can't wait to get those out they're also flea market is Hello, the line mommy. by I'm color box. Write my story why I want it so I can get it now okay you have to write it on a big notebook paper okay like a full and I need like 10 sentences about why you want it so she's gonna do that now I'll show it to you later she um She's in first grade. But we're going to unpack the groceries. We're going rollerblading and probably kayaking. So, yeah, you've had a lot of groceries. And so I'll be back you streaming with my scrapbooking later. Um, and maybe the other thing I've thought about with um, the you streaming, now I want to show you one thing, one more thing. It's my little baker's rack that I'm like currently in love with. So I'm going to. Climb up on this precariously enough. I will cry if you wait two weeks. I won't cry if I get it after my sentences. Do you hear that? You can't get it immediately after your sentences. You have to wait two weeks. No! We have to like put it on the calendar. She's very unhappy about the um the waiting two weeks bit, but I think that's brilliant advice. I don't want to. This is um okay, so see. Very unhappy about the declaring. And then this is the other thing I've been loving lately is um, my baker's rack, which I've been putting all the stuff I want to use recently. And that's the little, those are the little hook things I got at Ikea, which are cool. And then I also like hooked them on this thing, which is super cool. She doesn't want to wait two weeks. 
Oh, that's so sad. You know, some of my best parenting advice, the people that have given me the, some of the best parenting advice are scrapbookers. Like um, Stacy Julian, for example. Hold on. Well, I'm going to wrap this up in just a second, but she did this like bingo thing with her kids one, one year. I thought was really, really brilliant. It's on her blog. Sorry. <clears throat> there goes Daddy. Daddy's in charge of uh, grocery shopping most of the time. Oh, this is one part of video I don't enjoy. Just notice my wrinkles. Um, anyways, I will be you streaming again. Um, for the next couple of weeks until I feel like not you streaming again. Um, so one of the things I want to do is talk about my um, Flickr thing. Hold on, I'm going to put you down so you don't get sick. Hopefully when you're watching this, you're also crafting so you're not focused on the camera most of the time. I know when I watch you stream videos, I typically am not watching. I'm more like listening and occasionally I'll look up. So it's my hope that that's the way you watch you stream videos too. Like if you're watching my you stream videos, like make yourself busy, do some crafting while you're listening. Um, and then just look up occasionally because most of my video quality is not a ton to look at. I know there's some other you streamers who really do heavy on the techniques and it's maybe more important to watch, but I'm more of a, this is kind of more like a podcast with pictures, an unrehearsed Ustream video podcast with photographs. We'll call it that. But what I would like to do is, um, I have a Flickr, I have like 10 or 11 Flickr groups and I'll show you how to get there. Hold on. I'm gonna put you up um, so you can see the video. Get that out of the way. Can you see it? Sort of, kind of. Okay, so I am on Flickr. I actually have two accounts. I don't know how that happened, but I was in Lane Eamon's, um load thing once or twice, and I forgot my password and ended up with two accounts. But if you go to, let's see, Get you out of here for a minute. I don't know how to open that up. Hello. Oh, as you can see, I am not the best. I don't know how to, how to do this. Hey, Charlie. I might get my technical advisor in here. Oh, I need to open a new window. Seems like I ought to know how to do that. Hey, Charlie. Charles. He won't listen to me. Um... Oh, well, anyways, there's a Flickr group, and I'll put a link in the show notes since I can't figure out how to open it right now. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. But it's called Scrapbooking by Numbers. Like, remember Paint by Numbers when you were a little kid? A lot of times when I start scrapbooking, um, I want a starting place, and sometimes it's an idea, or sometimes it's the photos, but sometimes it's a, I'd rather have a, um, a sketch to start with, or like be inspired by something. But a lot of times it's like, I have three fit pictures, like just going through these, right? So I have these Disney pictures. I'm not gonna put you back up there. But for example, say I wanted to use these two pictures. There's Allison with baby buttons in front of the castle. So I have two vertical photos and I want to put those on a layout, but I'm like, I don't know how I should put them on a layout. Like, I don't know where to put the title. I don't know where to put the pictures. You know, I don't know where to start, but if I had a, here's some examples of pages with two vertical photos, like, um, I usually start I'm with four by six. I'm almost done! Woohoo! <laughs> we'll have her read her declaration in a moment. So just wait, 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 wait. Um, but what my plan is for the Ustream videos and, and the, the scrapbooking by numbers is to say, okay, this is going to be the show where we do two vertical pictures, and then, so bring your two vertical pictures, and we'll make a page together, so it'll be like scrapbooking together and those I will try to schedule um, though no promises because a lot of times I 
I'm used streaming in the middle of the night or I'm used streaming, in, you know, super early in the morning. Um, I have local friends who are always inviting me to crops and it's like, if I tell my family I'm going to go spend the whole entire Saturday scrapbooking, they're going to have a problem with that. So, you know, they, they, <laughs> that's not when it's going to occur. It's going to occur in, in the gaps when they're doing other things. Um, so we can be out I help making the memories the to, to scrap about. Excuse me? <laughs> it's almost family cleaning day, too. That's coming soon. Uh, anyway, so uh, maybe I'll put up on my blog, like, okay, you know, Tuesday night at X amount of time, we're going to do a page with two vertical Whoa. pictures or three vertical pictures. Three. And so I guess maybe I can get on here the. and show you because I can't figure out how to open up another window. But Allison's going to read her declaration in just a minute. Uh, uh. i got to get better lighting in this room, I know. That'll come. Okay, so let's see. Flicker. Why are my sentences so far after I do my sentences? Three more. Finish your sentences and then you can read. I have three more sentences. Let's see. Okay, well, then just wait just a moment. Okay, so here's Why Flicker. Why didn't you keep it in the ceiling? You know Flicker? Why didn't you keep it in the ceiling? Oh, um, because Daddy didn't want you to. I don't you know. I didn't like it. I might have to get two cameras so I can have the top view and the view. And then I don't know if you can go to your groups on here. But it's a group. Beep in I can't get there can't get there from here yes I am from Maine and I do I remember Tim Sample but I'll put up the link <laughs> it's called scrapbooking by numbers and you can upload your scrapbooking pages to the Flickr group depending on how many pictures are in the photo so what we'll be doing um, on the Ustream is we'll be scrap lifting some of those photos or some of those layouts does that sound good I think that sounds fun. And now I think that Miss Allison has a declaration to read. Are you ready? Scrapbooking and parenting advice all in one. And believe me, I, I do not have all the answers on the parenting advice. We, um, we are a work in progress. We're all doing our best, right? Um, are you ready? She's almost ready. Sit more ladylike, honey. Put both of your legs up. That's not okay. No, I want to sit like this. Well. It's kid sit. I'll move you a little bit. I did go to Ikea yesterday. Um, I went to a baby shower over in Tampa at the Milk and Honey Tea Room, which is where this Tampa Bay scrapbooking guild used to meet. And I learned since that they the girl sold it to another girl. Um... But they did have the Tampa Bay Scrapbooking Guild did have some I'm kind ready. of an event yesterday. Okay, just a minute. Um, so if, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, definitely look that up. Um, I don't make it to many of the meetings, but it's awesome. It's just a little bit too hard for me to get there. But okay, we are ready for Miss Allison's declaration. You ready? Read. I really want it. I... When went to the store. She's sitting right next to our growth wall. See that? Okay, I keep. I don't want to wait. I don't want to. What? What's W A T? W A T. If you're a kid. W A T. What? You forgot the H. W H A T? Maybe? I don't want to. Okay. Clearly, we need some work on the, um, on the uh, declaring of, what, of the wants. Whoa. Um, <laughs> wait to. You hear that? I'm, I'm not going to wait to buy the thing that costs $138 at, oh, um, at take Ikea. care of our girls. Anyways. I help you clean the toilet. 
I am. I'll be I'll be you streaming for the next couple I weeks. Sleep the so stairs. I will see you soon. I um, check my blog. Back. It's kissandtellscrapbooking.typepad.com. I'll have more information you. about when. I'm all done reading them. And I will keep you posted on the declaration of the I want the IKEA kitchen set. See. We shall see. This is the. That's the I want. I don't think they can really see it. Something tells me that's going to turn into a scrapbooking page at some point or another. Very nice. Let's put it up on the board. I really want to know. I know. I want to wait two weeks. To wait two weeks. So we're going to date that and we're going to tape it up. Gonna help you to achieve it. I think that um, in addition to the declaration, we need good behavior for two weeks. I don't wait two so what's today? The twentieth. So we're gonna put that on there. How about tomorrow? Can I have it? No. Please, I don't want to wait. IKEA kitchen set declaration. I don't want to wait two weeks. Well, do you have $138? In my bank, I think I do. Well, we're not going to take it out of your bank. I will keep you posted on the... Um, Wait, I think I do. On the modification of the overconsumption of my children. Here you go. Oh, she did set up a lemonade stand at the yard sale yesterday and made some cash. You should count how much money there is in there. Okay. Okay. Not One. in here. Okay. Bye-bye. This is Katie Two, Scott with Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking, three, where I talk about scrapbooking four, and all sorts of other five, things. Goodbye. How do I stop this? Six, hmm. seven, eight, stop. nine. Bye-bye.